If but we do you help. agree with Senators Clinton and Obama that we need to have basically a timetable for withdrawal, bringing out one to two brigades a month? Well, I think we need uh, a, a clear uh, plan in, uh, yes, withdrawal. Uh, we're going to have to start working our way out of this. How we do it must be responsibly. Uh, we're, we're in a deep hole. I think we're in a quagmire. Uh, but at the same time, we have national interests there. Uh, we have allies there. Uh, I think we should go back to the Baker-Hamilton report. Some of that is irrelevant today because it's almost two years old. And take out of those 76 recommendations some of the things that still work. I have called the last two years uh, for institutionalize a strategic security framework in that area. I've called for engaging Iran and Syria. There's not going to be any peace or stability, uh, whether it's the Palestinian-Israel issue or any other you issue. Were also, you were also very tough on President Bush last year when he announced the surge last January. Take a look at the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Madam Secretary, that I think this speech given last night by this president represents the most dangerous foreign policy blunder in this country since Vietnam. In that same week, you wrote an op-ed with uh, Senator Biden in USA Today where you said more troops in Baghdad will increase the likelihood of more American casualties and will not end the sectarian Iraqi massacres that are occurring every day. Now, as you point out, the surge has not yielded all of the political progress that everybody wanted, but clearly um, there have been fewer American casualties and the massacres have ended. You were wrong about that, weren't no, you? No, I was not wrong about it. Uh, we have lost over 900 dead Americans since the surge. Now, if you want to dismiss that as success, that'll be your interpretation. Uh, the fact is, in the end, all that matters is not a military tactical victory. Of course, when you flood the zone with American firepower, which is superior to anything in the world, we have the best soldiers, the best led, best equipped. But There's you didn't be... think that would work at no, the time. No, no, that's not what I said. That's not what I said. I said what you will do is you will further bog yourselves down into a situation, making the Iraqis more dependent on you, making it more difficult to get out. In the end, you're not going to be any closer to a political reconciliation. If all of this is working so well, George, th then why is the Bush administration now talking about keeping uh, brigades uh, in there at 140,000? larger than what what we had in there when the surge started why did general petraeus say last week general petraeus that there has not been commensurate political uh, progress that in the end is all that's going to matter anyway what what the surge was all about george was trying to buy time for the iraqis they, they've not used that time very well there's any question just like taking saddam hussein out we were going to do that we were going to do that probably dispatch him pretty quickly that was never the issue the issue was what happens after you know, he's gone